uh, don't usually think of people who are entrepreneurs and, and spiritual advisors in the same category. You're, you're kind of both of those. James is actually holding a free seminar tonight in Dallas, but there are less than a dozen seats left. You've got to register online. Back to what I learned there, when I first got there, Pierce, I, I saw everyone else and then me. And then the longer I was there, I just saw us. And I, I felt like I was in the boiler room on, in the bowels of the ship of humanity. And in the boiler room, it's hot and we fight and we, we scrap and we take drugs nonstop, believe it or not. And we tattoo our gang affiliations all over our face and bodies to try to show our importance and to escape our pain. Up in the penthouse of the same ship, there's still the same pain. You know, we, we cheat with our best friend's wife and we have to build our business bigger and make more money and we tattoo with jewelry and cars and houses. The pain is the same. It's the human experience. The only difference is how we try to escape it. And that's, that's the great lesson. One of the things I've learned is that you cannot ever minimize someone else's suffering um, or aggrandize your own because it's all relative to where we are at our particular unfolding. Totally I would submit to you that pain is the mother of all growth. Yeah. And we always learn the most through crises and challenge because it's in those times that we rise to our best. Right. You know, and why is it that every great mythology, which I've studied almost Big all of too, them, yeah. you know, every hero in great mythology never had an easy life. No. I mean, just use your Bible. Right. I mean, forget the Greek and, and Roman, but, right. but any of them, you know, the Celtic, uh, any of them, None of them had an easy life. And what is that telling us? You know, we can interpret that as a literal event that happened in the past with an actual person, and some or, people do, yeah. or we can interpret it metaphorically as there's a lesson for life and living here. Right. I tend to choose the, the latter. If you choose the former, I respect that. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm also very willing to admit that maybe I choose the latter because it makes me feel better. One of the greatest causes of human suffering is impermanence because yeah. we want to permanently arrive. We want to permanently have control. We want to permanently predict. How, how's that one working for yeah. you, right? Yeah. It's impermanent. And so when you embrace it, everything, it goes <laughs> away. Right. Pretty soon it, it, it releases. <sighs> you know, I mean, I had to sit in my own funk. Yeah. And I sat in it, you know, up to here, and I did pity party, and I did victim, and I was, there was a time I was angry at God. Yeah. You know, I, I was like, seriously? You know, I, I invest my whole life on the road over 200 days a year. I'd never get any sleep, I'd blah, 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 victim, 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 right? right? And this is my reward, God? Right. You know, seriously? I mean, I, I was down there. You know what that's called? Self-importance. Yeah. It's not what you do that determines your success. It's how you do it. I submit to you there are many people who do what you do, and guess what? They're pretty darn good at it, or they wouldn't be in business, or they wouldn't be alive. But it's not what you do that's going to determine your success or failure. Does that make any sense to you? It's how you do it, and that's what I want to explore with you here this evening. Intention. Let's talk about the power of intention or personal will. What is your intention for your life? Now, I'm talking about your consuming idea, not what you tell me you want. But what is your ultimate consuming idea? What is it you think about and focus on 99.999% of your life? That's your intention. You see, there's a major, major difference between knowing what you want and knowing what you don't want. If you're with me, say yes. yes. So simple, and yet it's profound. Because you see, you move towards what you focus on. Energy flows where attention goes. If you're constantly thinking about, talking about, worrying about what you don't want in your life, what are you most highly likely to create? Easy answer, thank you. 
what you don't want. You get up in the morning, you look in the mirror, and the monster in your life is looking back, brushing its teeth. And I look forward to all the things because I know what's ahead of you. You don't. So I'll look forward to that. God bless you. Thank you for being here. James has been interviewed on Oprah, The Today Show, Larry King Live, CNN, Fox, ABC, CBS, and Bloomberg. He is a New York Times best-selling author of the book Harmonic Wealth and co-author of the globally recognized book and movie The Secret. James Arthur Ray has spoken at top Fortune 1000 companies such as Coca-Cola, Nestle, IBM, State Farm, Remax, Sonic, AT&T, Blue Cross Blue Shield, and nearly a hundred more. He has taught over one million individuals from 143 countries. James covers five different topics. How to build bulletproof resilience. How to go from grit to greatness. How to create the ultimate turnaround. The art of warrior leadership and five dimensions of ultimate leadership. If you want to book James, and you should, contact us today.